Hi, my name is Aldo Guzman, and uh, I choose the topic uh, how to record audio in, in your DAW, including uh, the preparation of the project, creating tracks for the project, uh, setting the click, the count off, and the recording efficiently. Uh, a little bit of background from me, uh, I'm from Mexicali, Mexico, that's a city that is near to the border uh, with U USA. and, and well, uh, my education with music has been I've been a bass player for like six years, and my main interest, apart from that, is the the musical production. Uh, so let's get the the beginning with the with the topic that I choose for the video. Okay, so the software that we're gonna use is gonna be Logic Pro Nine. This is gonna be our talk. So let's open it. Uh, in this case, uh, we don't see on screen, so we go to File, we select New, and we see we have a lot, a lot, of, a lot of, of templates in order to help us to select uh, one to create one for one specific kind of purpose of music of any other kind of production that we do. We're gonna do. In this case, let's select the, the empty project, so it gives you a little bit more options. Once we select uh, the empty project, it's going to ask you what kind of tracks we want to create. If we create uh, audio tracks, uh, a software instrument, or, or external me. So let's select uh, the audio, tr audio tracks. In this case, we're going to record the audio. Well, in this example, I'm going to record the audio with the microphone of the computer. So okay, I'm going to use it that way. Uh, once we select the number of audio tracks, we want to create, uh, let's click create. If we want to open the library of software instrument available or not, that's something that's up to you. It's gonna be the main screen where we're gonna work with the global tracks, that's the name, uh, Logic Assign. So in order to add more tracks uh, than this one, we click this plus symbol, as you see it, can, it say new tracks. So we click it and you're gonna see the same option that you see before. Um, it's going to ask us what kind of tracks we want to add and how many. Let's say we want to add one more software instrument and we click create. Now, let's record something in the audio tracks, okay? So now, in order to record in the audio track, we need to go uh, and click this, this little button. It say record ready. Uh, and if we uh, we select a soft, um, sorry, a folder in order to to save our project, this is gonna be the moment where Logic is gonna ask us where we're gonna save the project. So I have a folder where I pull all my music related stuff. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it Logic Logic Sample. Great. That's the folder. It's here. Uh, and the new project sound. Okay, now in every musical project, we ha we need to find out why it's gonna be the tempo that are gonna use our music. So in this case, we're gonna sign it uh, using the tap tempo function on Logic Nine. The tempo is available down here, as you can see, but it's a number that you manipulate uh, with the click and. And move it up and down. So, it's, but it's kind of hard to understand it that way, you know, because you know you don't think uh, at the moment that you create a song, ah, my tempo is exactly 125. Okay, so you just go and you get the rhythm. So let's gonna use the tap tempo function here in Logic to assign the tempo on our on our project. First, we need to go uh, to uh, to assign the the key commands for the tap tempo so we go to logic preferences key commands we look here uh, for the tap tempo feature tap tempo and you can see that is assigned to the command uh, shift t so i think it's a good command so we're going to use that one that we have the command for the tap tempo we need to uh, make logic uh, so can assign this tap tempo to our project, so we go to this bar. This bar here is this is the main bar where we're gonna do a lot of options. And uh, we do right click and we select customize transport bar. 
and we look for the option option sync. Okay, this option is gonna make that when we we apply your tap tempo is going to be applied to the overall project. As you can see, uh, this is, this bar is going to get on the blue color, and the tempo that we assign is going to be displayed down here. So in this moment, I'm going to save the the tap tempo with the command shift T. Okay, so uh, I assigned the tempo 128. That's something that's random and start to play that tempo. If we want to uh, listen to the tempo of the click track uh, uh, to the monitors, we need to click uh, this button, I'll say click, and we're gonna hear it uh, that way. Okay, so now in order to record audio, we need to go to preferences. Uh, this is gonna be in order to select the kind of input we have so I'm going to be selecting the, the built-in microphone on my laptop so I can record. It's already selected. And we go to hit the button, record. As you can see, it's already recording some sound. And it's going to be a little bit of feedback. So we, if you want to record, we're going to hit this button. Sorry for the feedback. And after that, we hit the button play. As you can see, we have the click track and so on. So that creates, uh, if we want to stop monitoring the the audio that we gain on the on the input, we hit this button so we don't get any feedback and we can listen to the what we record. As you can see, we have the click track. Okay. So this is the basics uh, in order to record a, a project in Logic, assign tempo, and record audio. So thank you for your attention, and have a good day.